Welcome to Soul Food, your daily essential feed. Some people welcome new experiences and people. They are always the one on the limelight. They are always the first to make an introduction and jump into a conversation easily. On the other hand, some prefers to warm up slowly to new people. They find it hard to meet new people. Unfortunately, the latter tends to be often misunderstood for being unfriendly or snobbish. In fact, they are just feeling shy to speak up in a social situation. It may be more overwhelming for them in an unfamiliar environment, such as first day of work or speaking in front of many people. If you feel that shyness is getting in your way to the social life that you want or greater opportunities at work, this video is for you. We will share on how we can work with our shyness. First way how we can work with our shyness. Accept yourself and appreciate your uniqueness. The most beautiful thing in this world is that we are all different. We have unique cultures, appearances, and personalities. Appreciate your uniqueness, including your shyness. It is something worth celebrating, as it is a part of your makeup. There is nothing wrong with being shy. This is who you are. Even though you are moving towards gaining more confidence, the shy characteristic of yours shall not be totally discarded. The shy personality in you makes you a natural observant and listener. It makes you more sensitive to others' feelings. You are the greatest companion anyone can have. Remember, it is important to be comfortable with who you are before any changes can take place. Second way how we can work with our shyness. You are not alone. It is important that you give yourself the permission to be shy. One reason why people who are shy find it difficult to gain confidence is that we often thought it is a problem of a minority. If you think that there is something wrong with you because you are the only few who feel shy, I would like to reassure you, you are not alone. A research revealed that 60% of people identify themselves as someone who is shy. This means that out of 10 people that you speak to, six of them are feeling exactly like you in a social situation at some point in time. They may just be better at pulling back their shyness at that moment, while shivering behind the scenes. Hence, when you are in a social interaction the next time, fret not. The other party may be more shy than you. Third way how we can work with our shyness. Be aware of the spotlight effect. It is common that we often overestimate how much other people notice about us. We tend to think that there is a spotlight on us, and everyone around us is focusing on our mistakes or flaws. When we had a bad hair day, we become so conscious with our appearance, we thought people will realize it and would laugh at us for years. But in fact, others are often being overly occupied with themselves, that they do not really pay attention to you. So, do not be afraid of making mistakes in a social interaction. Most of the time, people do not remember them. Fourth way how we can work with our shyness. Take good care of yourself. Take care of yourself can be a good way to boost confidence. Even minor acts of self-care such as keeping your teeth clean, having a good bath, and wearing on a perfume can make a big difference in how you feel about yourself. However, do not fall into the trap of dressing up just to please others. It would only make us feel more self-conscious unnecessarily. The purpose of us in taking care of ourselves is to make us feel good with ourselves. With this glowing perception of ourselves, we will be more confident in social situation. Fifth way how we can work with our shyness. Practice, practice and practice. It always takes practice to overcome something. People who are shy tend to avoid chances to practice social skills. Therefore people who shy away from social interactions don't feel as socially confident as those who are outgoing. The more you put your social behaviors sat practice, the easier they get and the more natural you would feel. 
It's all right to go slow, as long as there are steps being taken. And it's perfectly fine to feel awkward at the beginning. Everyone does sometimes. Do not let that keep you away from doing what you want. You might be fearful of rejection to ask your crush for a date. Yes, your crush may reject you, but they may also have been waiting for you to ask them out. There are chance of success if overcome your shyness and ask them. Not asking at all means you never get that date. So, go for it. Many people have learned to manage their shyness. Know that you can do that too. If you are interested to find out more about building confidence, watch our video on Believing Yourself is the first step to success. Click here or find the link at our description box. We hope you like our sharing. And remember, the key to happiness is always in your hand. Click on the like button if you enjoyed our video. And subscribe for more videos like this.